is a sad story. We're going to try to find a silver lining around. A surge in romance scams has cost Americans over $300 million in the last three years. Because of the pandemic, the search for love actually pushed a lot of people to find love online. It often leaves people losing hope. According to the Washington Post, con artists create fake profiles to impersonate those looking for romantic relationships, then convince their victims to send them money via wire transfers. You know what? Yeah, say what you want. Okay. To, say what you want to say, girl. I am looking for the positive in this, and I think that I have found it. Okay. Look how many people are open and wanting to fall in love and not letting the pandemic harden them and choosing not to isolate? But yeah, losing money be in wise. the process, be but wise. be wise with yeah. it. But it yeah. is nice that so many people said, I don't want to be alone. What I've learned through this is I need partnership. Absolutely. And, and I think older, pe older people are often the victims. Yes. Uh, we want to help each other during yeah. this tough time yeah. in any way. And even if we're doing it while looking for love, we, we still just want to help each other out. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Positive. I like that. Good job, guys. Thanks for finding <laughs> that beautiful uh, spot in the show. Let's